Hey guys, so I'm sure you've seen my other training on how to recreate an Illustrator template into a Canva template. But what if you have some vector objects that are odd shapes like this squiggly one here, this one here, and this one here? Well, I'm going to show you exactly how to save these vector files or vector objects as SVG files so that you can import them into Canva and then the colors can be changed by the client and they can be moved around. So here are the steps here on the right. So you're going to want to go to layers and name each of these objects a different name in the layers. So this one, for example, is right here. We'll name it bottom graphic. And then this object here is this group. We'll name it white graphic. And then this one here, this blue one, we'll name it top graphic. Good. So this placeholder image can be deleted because we can always use one from Canva. This back background can be deleted because we can always import one from Canva. And then this one, we'll make it a different color just so that we can see it better for purposes of saving the video. So next you're gonna click Command A to select everything and go to Object Expand. Now while everything is saved, go to Object, then Artboards, and then Fit to Selected Art so that everything is within this artboard. But now we want to save everything out separately so that your client can kind of change the layering of everything um, in Canva. So we will save them out one by one. So we can delete this and delete this. We'll save this first. We'll do object, artboards, fit to selected art. And then we'll do file, save as and then we'll save it as an SVG and we'll call it abstract Instagram one. Click save and then these are the parameters that we wanna make sure it's SVG 1.1 and then CSS properties are presentation attributes. Then click okay. Command Z to bring everything else back. We'll delete this one now, sorry, delete this delete this and now we'll save this one. So we'll do object, artboards, fit to selected art, file, save as, we'll do, we'll call this one abstract Instagram two, make sure that it's, it's an SVG and we'll save it. Okay. Then command Z, delete this one, delete this one, file, sorry, select it, then file, sorry, object, artboards, fit to selected art, file, save as, we'll call this one number three, save and okay. So there we go. So now what you're gonna do is open this up in Canva. So now we're in a blank canvas in Canva and we have our original template here. I will leave the link to this template in the description below. So now we can recreate this image. So I'll do it very briefly. We'll add a square here and I will just be approximate with the color. And we'll do that as the background. And then now we can start building on our graphic here. So we'll do uploads and then we're gonna upload media from our device. And we can select these three that we created. And here we go, we have them coming in. So it looks like this blue one is underneath this group. 
So we will click it and add it here. I'll just enlarge it a little bit. Then we'll click this one and add her there. We'll make it much larger. And then we will add the bottom one, make larger. And there we have it. So we can see that we can click these and we can change the color, which is exactly what we want the client to be able to do. Exactly what we want them to be able to do. So I will click this one and make it white. And then don't forget we had our placeholder image. So we will go to elements and then we'll go to frames. So we'll add this one and then we'll make the frame border white and we will enlarge it a little bit. And then this one goes on top of it. So we will right click bring to front and there you have it. So that's exactly how you can create illustrator objects or vector objects, make them into SVGs and then import them into Canva so that you'll be able to have your clients edit the colors and be able to move the shapes around.